Hello everyone, welcome back. Today I'm going to show you how to make no peak chicken and rice casserole. This is a tried and true recipe. I've made this for you years ago. I'm bringing it back for you. Y'all come on down. We're going to start off with the chicken. We're using one and a half pounds of boneless skinless chicken. Now these are tenders. You can even use the chicken breast if you want to and just chop those up. I'm going to show you how to take the tendon out of the chicken tender because nobody really likes that. I don't anyway. The easiest way to do it that I've found is you take your fork, you take the tendon and you put it in between your tines of the fork. You grab a paper towel and you're going to grab the tendon and then you're just going to pull. Pulled all of the tendons out of the chicken tenders. Now this is an optional step. You don't have to do that if you don't want to. We're going to go ahead now and get our 9 by 13 baking dish ready. We're going to spray it with some nonstick cooking spray. Y'all, this is a really easy dish to put together. <laughs> Not hard at all. We're going to take our chicken tenders and we're going to lay them in the bottom of the baking dish. You just want one layer. So in other words, don't stack on top of each other. Got the chicken done for our recipe. Now we're going to get something ready so that we can hide the chicken while it's cooking. <laughs> That's the no peak. Alright, I'm going to bring over the ingredients that we need for the mixture. It's going to go on top of that chicken. We're going to start in a large mixing bowl and we're going to add two cans of cream of soup. I'm using one can of cream of celery soup. Now these are the 10.5 ounce size. The regular size. You don't want to get the family size. We're going to add that to the dish. And then I've got a can of, whoop, was that the cream of celery? Yep. I meant to have cream of chicken. I needed a can of cream of chicken to go with that cream of celery. Or you can do two cans of cream of celery if you want. I want that chicken flavor. And then to that, we're going to add one and a half cups of water. And then we're going to add in one package of onion soup mix. We'll give it that onion flavor so we don't have to chop up an onion. <laughs> we're going to be adding one cup of long grain white rice. You want to make sure that it's uncooked. We're going to season up our mixture here. I'm going to put in about a quarter teaspoon of black pepper. I'm just going to crack it in there. I know what I'm looking for. There we go. Perfect. We're going to put in half a teaspoon of garlic powder. We're going to put in a quarter teaspoon of onion powder. That'll just enhance the onion soup mix. There we go. Then to give it a little color and a little more flavor, we're going to add in a quarter teaspoon of smoked paprika. All right, we're going to whisk this all together. Smells good. Now I'm not adding any salt to this dish because of the cream of soups, the onion soup mix, and plus there's something else we're going to be doing to it later that we're not going to have to worry about any salt. All right, let's get ready to pour this all over our chicken. Cover it up. We don't want to see it. <laughs> Is 
just going to evenly spread it out. Now the trick to getting this rice to cook and be nice and tender is to foil wrap it tightly. And when I say tightly, I mean tightly. My oven is preheated. <laughs> now I'm going to double foil it. You want to make sure that no steam can escape the foil. You want it all stayed inside the dish. That way it'll plump up your rice and cook it nice and tender. If you don't seal it good, that steam's going to escape and your rice is going to be crunchy. You don't want it for this dish. All right. I was using some heavy duty foil here, but if you have regular foil, that's fine. Just make sure it is sealed well, especially along the edges of your handles. I've got my oven preheated at 350 degrees. We're going to bake this covered for one and a half hours. You want to make sure that your chicken is cooked through nice and tender and so is the rice. We've got one more thing to do to it before we're going to enjoy this dish. I'll be back. All right, I've pulled this out of the oven. We're going to pull the foil off. Now, I did check it right here to make sure that the chicken and the rice were tender and cooked through. We're going to sprinkle one and a half cups shredded cheese across the top. That's good. We're going to pop this back in the oven for about five minutes until that cheese is nice and melted. I'm going to give it a try for you. Okay, I've pulled this out of the oven. I'm going to sprinkle a little bit of parsley flakes across the top, give it some color before that cheese solidifies. Like it all in there. We go. All right, let's see if we can find our no peak chicken. Mmm. There we go. Here's my bite. Mmm. It is so creamy. Mmm. And that chicken adds that texture. Wow. That's delicious. Don't forget to flavor that up. Mmm. All right. What do y'all think of my no peak chicken and rice casserole? So easy to put together. A little time in the oven, but it is so worth it. Give me a thumbs on, give me a thumbs up on this one. Make sure you like this video. And if you're new to the channel, make sure you hit that subscribe button down below and that bell notification that way you'll always know when shows like this one here are posted. Don't forget to share this one with your friends and family because you know they're going to want to try this one. All right, I'll see y'all on the next episode. Mmm.